Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. I am so glad you're here. I've been looking forward to this show for weeks. It's been eating at my soul and I've been so excited to share it with you. Well, the day has finally come when I can share with you all about this wonderful looking, cool record player, exclusive for Record Store Day 2021. This is the official Beatles Crosley Portfolio portable record player. Box is empty right now, that's why it's so light. <laughs> but check it out, it's gonna be cool. We're gonna review it, we're going to unbox it, we're gonna check it all out. And this is such a cool thing, like I don't even wanna throw the box away, which I won't because it's really, really cool. So, they're only making 1,500 of these turntables. And there is one way and one way only that you can get one. For $159.95, which is the MSRP on this, you want to snag yours before people buy them and start selling them secondhand on eBay for ridiculous prices. So if you want to get one at the right price, stay tuned to the end of the show and I'm going to tell you the one and only way you can do that. Again, this is a Record Store Day 2021 exclusive. These go on sale on June 12th. And again, stay tuned till the end of the show and I'll tell you how to snag one. Welcome to Wreckitology. Let's just take a minute to admire the beauty of what is in front of us for a second. This is awesome. Now, when I found out a couple months ago that they were together producing something special for us for Record Store Day 2021. And Crosley comes out with something cool every year for Record Store Day. They've done Peanuts Edition Cruisers, Star Wars, and Mickey Mouse. And then they did the RSD3 miniature three-inch player. They did the RSD 2020, the Mini Cruiser, all this cool stuff. I was really excited to see what they're going to put together for us this year. And when I found out it was going to be this, I was just like, oh my goodness, this is going to be cool. Because there are so many Beatles fans out there, and I would count myself among them. So what we have here is a Crosley portfolio, which is arguably one of the very best suitcase players out there. Because we've got a moving magnetic cartridge from Audio-Technica, an adjustable counterbalance. They have told me that this is similar to the mechanism that we've seen on the Collegiate and the Nomad, which has been great but not quite exact. So it's under continuous development and improvement. So the turntable itself should be wonderful. And then on top of it, we have this beautiful overlay. Now check out the artwork when I flip this around, guys. This is, this is so awesome. Just check this out. Just absolutely beautiful. And again, like I said in the open, there are only 1,500 of these in the world. And you can own one when they go on sale here soon. And I'm going to show you how you can accomplish that at the end of the show. So stay tuned, check out the review. We're gonna unbox this bad boy. And then I'm gonna tell you how you can have one of these as well. So let's open it up, shall we? I'm so excited, you guys. The reveal, this is gonna be so cool. So cool, I already know it's just gonna be a massive hit. This is just super cool. All right, first peek in the, bit, in the box there. We've got an uh, audio cable, USB cable, instruction manual. Oh man, look at it. We've got the power supply. Oh my gosh, it just screams fun. It screams fun. Have you seen the movie Yellow Submarine? I have not. And I want to, I want to. It was one of my favorite songs, so I'm really excited on that level alone. But you know, warranty card, so I smack the light with it. To also see the movie, I think would be really, really cool. So, I'll have to do that one of these days. I already love the bright colors. It's just vibrant. Oh, that's awesome. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, this is awesome. Wow. Just beautiful. I'm a sucker for primary colors. So this is already looking just absolutely amazing let us now take the wrapping off what a genius idea what an absolutely genius idea okay let's 
go ahead and open the latches. Those are metal. We're going to lift the lid off. Unmatched cool factor, you guys. I mean, <laughs> this is so amazing. Look at that. Is he giving us a finger? I don't think so. Look how beautiful this is. Absolutely amazing. How to convert vinyl records to digital files. Yes, you can do that with this. And some people love that feature. They love it. They really want to convert their vinyl to digital. Why would you want to do that, you may say? Doesn't that take away the whole idea of analog media? Well, not real. Well, yes, it does. But the idea is very valid, and here's why. Some of you may know, this is something I've learned in my record journey over the last, you know, several years, is that not every piece of music that was available on vinyl records is available elsewhere. So there's a lot of music that exists only in a record groove and does not exist in the digital domain. This truly is a tool to help bring not lost music, but music that's, you know, stuck in an era gone by to the forefront. So that's a very valid thing. Let's look at this thing. I'm going to clean off some of the packaging materials. Let's take a look at this in detail. We're going to tour it all the way around. We'll look under the hood and we'll obviously test it out as well. Let's take a minute to mourn all of the record players that just took a back seat to the coolest looking, at least, portable record player of all time. I have never had a portfolio before. I've never played with one. I'm very excited because I've heard they're fantastic. And to have this version is just absolutely stunning. So we've got, I'm assuming it's a vinyl wrap on the outside. I'm not 100% sure on that. With this beautiful Beatles yellow submarine graphics, a very vibrant red trim, yellow, white, all of those key component colors that you identify with the Beatles Yellow Submarine. Looking around back here, we've got four rubber feet. So this obviously can lay flat and have some stability and, you know, doesn't slide on smooth surfaces. Looking at the bottom down here, we've got some connectivity. Obviously the USB right there, line output if you want to hook it up to a bigger sound system and the 12 volt power supply. Now let's look Let's gaze upon some of the uh, trimmings, some of the fasteners, and just the overall details here. Metal grill, red metal grill. Look at that wrap. Isn't that just beautiful? And the graphics all coming across very, very nicely. Those are pretty accurate color representations from what I can see. Got a bold red handle. Look at those metal clips right there. Everything feels very rugged so far. So let's go ahead and lay it down and look under the hood. There have been a handful of record players that I've reviewed on this channel. I mean, they're all exciting. They're all fun and exciting because I just, I wouldn't be doing this channel if it wasn't fun and exciting. But there are a few that are just so earth shatteringly fun and cool that I can barely contain myself. So I've had this in my office now for a few weeks and it's been really hard to keep myself out of this box because I wanted to experience this together and have this moment together. So let's look under the hood again, the inside of the lid with this awesome, awesome artwork. Absolutely cool. Oh, this is so, so cool. Now, sadly, I don't have yellow submarine on vinyl, but I do have some Beatles. Now Beatles music is probably one of the hardest things to sample on YouTube without a content ID match, rightfully so. But you know, Elvis, Michael Jackson, Beatles, top names like that, it's, I may get two seconds, three if I'm super lucky, even may not get away with that. So I've got a Beatles record and then a non-Beatles record and we'll just give it a go. So let's look kind of at the plinth and see what controls we have and features of this record player. Okay, so as I said before, it is similar to what we've seen on the Nomad and the Collegiate. However, they have furthered the engineering work of this turntable, platter, mechanism, tone arm, all that good stuff. But the controls are gonna be familiar and that's a good thing. And this has been a very good mechanism, overall design basis that we've seen in the past. So again, this uh, tone arm counterbalance back here is adjustable. So you can dial it in if you want more weight. The AT3600L that's on here, it's gonna live two to two and a half grams max. So I'm gonna back that out. 
And we'll take the guard off the stylus. We've got our 45 adapter back here. It's just a basic plastic one. You can obviously upgrade that, but it's functional and will always be there if you need it. The platter is has an E-clip on there, or C-clip. I've heard E-clip, C-clip, all kinds of clips. It looks like a C, also kind of looks like an E. It's a clip of some sort. If you take it off, you will probably lose it. But if you needed to replace the belt, that's why you would want to take that off. That clip holds the platter, so when you're carrying around the portable turntable and storage and whatnot, this doesn't fall off. If you take that clip off, you can lift it right off. Now, it comes with these rubber nubs, which is perfectly adequate, three points of contact to hold any record. However, they also include this rubber slip mat, which is a cool feature. So I've seen a couple record players that offer that on top of it, but definitely a nice thing to have because it gives a little bit more traction and grip to your records, and I think that's a really good thing. Down here we've got two modes. We've got Bluetooth, so you can use this as a Bluetooth speaker. That means you can hook up your phone to it and the sound from your phone will come out of these speakers. If you are longing for turntables that go both ways in terms of Bluetooth in and out, stay tuned because there's some exciting news coming from Crosley in that regard in the near future. Pitch control, which is huge. So if you need to adjust the speed, if it's not 100% perfect in terms of the motor setting, then you can make that adjustment right here. You can use a strobe mat if you so choose to dial that in or an app on your phone, spin it around on the platter. We've done all these things in the past. So you have the ability to dial that in, which is awesome. Obviously your volume control right there, that's your on and off switch and volume control. You've got a headphone jack and an aux in. So really you've got three functions in one. You've got Bluetooth, you've got the record player, you've got aux in. Entertainment center, right out of the box, ready to go. This is gonna be awesome. So the next obvious thing is how does it sound? So let's find out. It is no accident that Apple Corps Limited is the one that helped license this with Crosley and the fact that there's an Apple on this record, obviously Apple Records, the record label that the Beatles are most commonly associated with. How this evolved to the Apple Corps of today, I'm not 100% sure. But here we go, we've got Come Together and we've got Something. Boy, I love the Elvis version of Something, but we're not talking about Elvis today. Yeah, just notice the Apple's hole on that side or it's the outer side of the Apple and the inner side, that is cool. So is this side A? That would make the most sense. That's awesome. Okay, so we're gonna put our 45 RPM adapter on there. We're going to turn this on, it's already on. We are, it's three speeds, by the way. You can do 45, 33, and 78, and it's easy to upgrade the stylus to one that can accommodate the wide groove of a 78. This would be a great little 78 RPM player if you upgrade the needle. Now, you don't have to do that. It'll still work with the 78. I personally maintain that playing a micro groove or playing a wide groove record like a 78 with a micro groove stylus like this 3600L isn't going to damage either the record or the needle. However, there is um, altering opinions in that regard. So, uh, but that's my opinion. It's got an auto start and stop, so you can have the platter spinning the second you turn it on, or you can switch it so that it only turns on when you rotate the tone arm over like that. So now, let's give it a sound test. I'm gonna start with Come Together, and again, I don't know how much I can get away with. I'm gonna film several seconds, and then I'm gonna edit it together and see what I can get away with, because I wanna to present to you as much as possible. I've also got an LP that we're gonna to listen to, separate non-Beatles non music. But what I wanna do now is I want to switch to my stereo microphones and set up the shot so that you get a good stereo representation of what I'm hearing in the room. So without further ado, here's some Beatles. Johnny Rivers there. That's awesome, you guys. It is super, super cool. And I wish I could just put a link in the description below, but it's gonna take some effort on your part to score one of these. And how are you gonna be able to do that? Stay tuned to my outro. A plus, 
knocked it out of the park. One of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. I'm never going to get rid of it. I think it's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. It's fun. It's awesome. It's built like a tank. I mean, this thing is very, very rugged. It's an MDF with, you know, a vinyl wrap on it. It's got metal hinges. It's got a good solid handle. What's under the hood, I think is comparable to, like I said, what we've seen before in the uh, some of the other Crosley units with the magnetic cartridge. I think the uh, Cruiser line is now the only line that uses, or one of the very few units that still uses the ceramic. And we've talked about why that is before. The people that are going to be looking for a suitcase player of that level, just getting started, just trying it out. And, you know, there's not an opportunity for an upsell to a magnetic at that price point. That makes a lot of sense. So that's, you know, to get people started, and it does a great job of that. However, if you want the portability of a cruiser, but you want, you know, higher quality components, this and some of the other uh, magnetic cartridge enabled suitcase players that Crosley sells is a great place to go. Now, I can't help myself, you guys. We're going to have to do Bluetooth. I usually don't do the Bluetooth and line input tests, but... When we've got something of this caliber that is so specific in terms of branding, I have to I have to do something. So guess what we're gonna play? So as I alluded to earlier, this was a broker deal that was arranged between Apple Core Limited and Crosley with a little help from Thread Shop, aka Sony music licensing. So this is a very cool collaboration, something that's very exclusive. Again, only 1,500 units have been produced. So how can you get one? And yes, you can get one. Well, like I said, June 12th is when they drop. That's when they go on sale. And the way to get yours is to visit your local record shop because these are sold exclusively through independent local record shops. In fact, they probably already have them in the back room. So if you want to snag yours, check them out June 12th and snag yourself this awesome, awesome Beatles Crosley record player exclusive. I hope you enjoyed this show, you guys. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Definitely hit subscribe, hit the bell notification so you don't miss one of our twice weekly shows. And obviously we got the whole backlog, over 800 episodes, record player reviews, all kinds of cool stuff for you to check out. Okay, guys, and that's going to do it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Happy record hunting. We will see you next time.